Hi everyone, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make your templates for your slab box cultural project. Um, when you make your project or your template, you're going to need some paper which you can grab up front. Today I'm going to show you how to measure out your rectangles because you'll need a few rectangles to create your templates. The first rectangle that you're going to need to measure out is 4 inches by 6 inches and you'll need 3 of those. That's going to be for your large size and the lid. The second rectangle that you'll have to measure out today is going to be 3 inches by 6 inches and you'll just need one of those and that's for the bottom. And then the third rectangle size that you'll need is 3 inches by 3 and a half inches and you'll need two of those. That's going to be for your small size. So when you go to start your template, I'm going to go ahead and start measuring out the 4 by 6 or the large size sides and lid template. Um, you want to make sure that you pre-plan. So you're going to need to get a ruler and a pencil. And what you want to do is kind of figure out how big your paper is. Uh, this side is 11 and then the other side is 8 and a half. So I want to fit at the more than one template on this piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I can't fit, if I was to do six along this side, I'd only be able to fit one. Um, I should be able to fit um, two going this way. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out the six going this direction. So to start to measure out, you're going to put zero on the edge. You're going to make a mark above the, that line right next to six and then bring your ruler down and do the same thing. Zero on the edge, make a mark above six. Now I'm going to turn my ruler and I'm going to line up those two points and then draw my line. All right, so now I have six inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this six so I don't forget. Then my other sides need to be 4 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my paper. I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler again. Put 0 on the edge. I'm going to make a mark at 4 and 8. Bring my ruler down. Do the exact same thing. 0 on the edge of the paper. Make a mark above 4 and a mark above 8. I'm going to turn my ruler. Line up those points and draw my line and then move my ruler over and do the same thing. Okay, So now this is 4 inches and 4 inches and then I'm going to label what these are so I'm going to put large sides and lid And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my third one right in this area. Again, use the top or side of your paper to get your straight edge. I'm going to make a mark above six, bring my ruler down, do the same thing. Turn my ruler, line up those dots, draw my line down. And I'm going to measure four inches over from the side. So zero on the edge, mark above four, bring my ruler down, do the same thing. Turn my ruler, match up those points, draw in my line, and then label it. So this is four by six, and this is the larger size. Now, please, after you um, are done measuring, we will be cutting these out. So please put your initials on each section, just in case if they get lost, you know who they belong to. Um, and then on the second piece of paper, you will be measuring out the other 
three rectangles that we need. So just to review, we just completed our four by six inches. We made three of them because that's how many we need. And then on the next paper, we are going to do the second and third rectangle shapes that we need. So again, we need one three by six inches for the bottom. And then we'll need two of the three by three and a half inches or the small size. And just to reflect about a ruler in case you're new using a ruler, um, the line right next to the number is the actual measurement. And it's a longer line that just ends right below the number. Then you can see how the ruler is divided into sections. Um, halfway is your midpoint, which has the X right underneath it. So this is a half or 0.5 or 50. To the left is 25 or 1 fourth. And then to the right is 3 fourths or 75. So again, it's like 0, 25, 50, 75, and a full 1. Or if you're looking at it in other terms, we have a fourth, a half, 3 fourths, and a full. Alright, so after you're done drawing out all your rectangles, then you're going to go ahead and get some scissors, and you are going to cut out your rectangles, put them in your folder, because we will use them on our slabs when we start working with clay. Any questions, please let me know.